guys yeah uh, most people do not understand the in-depth meaning of for better for worse in marriage they always you know have a literary meaning to that they explain it or they perceive it the way it sounds for better for worse you know some people attribute for better in marriage to be when things are flourishing when the man is wealthy when the man is so rich you know things are going well the family they have cars they have um, children you know things are going so fantastically well yes in their eyes because they are not living with the couples that they are aspiring or admiring to be i would like to be like mr okeke and family because the wife drives range rover the man drives a better car the man is the iroko boss and blah 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 that sends his children to three to a, to a school where he pays three million three point something million you know these and so many other reasons are what people assume to be that a marriage is going through a betterment section that's for better in marriage in other ways for worse like most people would explain it or most people would perceive it should be when sickness surfaces in marriage when a man or a woman is seriously down with one ailment or one you know high sickness <laughs> Oh yeah, all these high sounding sicknesses like um, diabetes and blah blah blah. It's not a bad sickness anyway because it's controllable, you know. And uh, when the family is so poor that it's so clear that they hardly, you know, afford three square meal for the chief, for the family, you know. This is what people perceive to be the worst in marriage, for better for worse in marriage. But if you ask me i would say it is not totally what it means that expression for better for worse in marriage is far more beyond um difficulties uh flourishness or when the family is flourishing and when they are having difficult times yeah to my own understanding for better you know Wait, let me not just let me just remove the concept of the better because every one of us believe in what we can see, yeah, what we hear, the physical outward of a family. Yes, that's what we, we 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 tag for better that they are living okay, they are comfortable, the man has an apartment, uh, they don't pay rent, or even if they pay rent, he has a car, the wife dresses fine, the children dresses yeah this is the physical attribute of for better to some of us when you ask us to define that concept in marriage but in other ways the bone of this discussion today or the major point i want to bring out today is the negative aspect of it that's for worse in marriage for worse in marriage honestly do not mean when the man is dying or when the woman is dying when there is sickness when poverty is totally clear no it's far from that it could happen when there is a disturbing issue in the family you can even see a couple that they have everything they have all the fact they are so wealthy so rich they have all the assets landed property cars name all the assets you could think of but then they don't have children yet it is not for worst but they are passing through a difficult phase i believe that marriage is for companionship just like my man does but cultural wise socially wise african wise and nigerianly <laughs> let me put it in that way wise you they expect you that once you are married the next few months you are having children when they did not see that stomach protruding or coming up within three months they begin to ask questions even when they are not god even when they are not there with you guys because sometimes newly wedded couples they could decide not to you know start producing children until if after about one year or two years 
this is a simple agreement between the two but the outsiders they will not understand they will be prognosing you know so how do you face this when relatives or loved ones start asking questions yes so this is a part of something that to be seen as you know for worse it depends on how you handle it another example of for worse look at me do i look hungry to you i am not hungry I don't look hungry. I even have a excessive meal to, call, to eat every day. I have a child. He's almost six years. I have a husband. He's working. Though I am not working, that's a different problem on its own. But the location where I am is described as, or it can be described as for worst. <laughs> Please do not laugh at me, you know. How or why? Nobody is killing me here. I have everything to my disposal. I have 247 power. I have water. Like I've stated, I am not hungry. But I am not mentally fine. Psychologically fine. It is an experience of for worst in marriage, in a relationship. How are you able to deal with factors like this when it arises? Yes, you have a man, you have a wife, but your wife's mouth sounds like opaka, barakatam, barakatam, all the time. She's talking. She does not allow the man a peace of mind. She nags a lot. It's possible in a man. You can have a man who nags too. All these things. Nagging is also for worst. Can be, you know, positioned. <laughs> it can be categorized into for worse in marriage. You have a man that keeps late nights, always seen with the friends, and is not proud to take the family out. And he has everything. You know. He's a landlord. Or gapata pata abi or gapata pata. You know, he has boy boy everywhere, but. He's not proud of you as the wife. He's not even proud to take the kids out because he has mistresses. You know, side the cheek, side others. This is for worst. They are not dying. The family is okay. The wife is on money. Some people are even wishing to be like the wife. But my sister, that kind of situation is what they call for worst. In marriage. Did you get that? So there are so many ways to classify or to identify for worst and for better in marriage. It is not totally when all is glittering. Remember, all that glitters is not gold. So never you ever wish to be like anybody. One day, let me be myself. And this place that I am, honestly, there are some people who are in worst areas. I know it is so huge, it can be really worrisome for me at times. Like, I can tell you that two nights ago, I didn't sleep. I was just thinking, and about yesterday, I went to the WhatsApp status of one of my friends, you know. She is in the UK with her family, and she put um, year two professional day. She put the photo of her daughter and kids. I was like, oh my God, this girl should be seven. Yeah, sometime this year. And she's already in year two. And here I have a son of almost six years. By next year, he will be six. And he's not in school for two years plus. So my head was like this. Not as if we do not have the money to send this boy to school. Mm-hmm. Yes. Not as if we don't, as in, I thought of so many things. He can't even see other kids to play with. Nobody comes around. No child to play with. No child to talk my my boy don't really talk much a few words you know it's not really interacting very well the way he should or kids in his age do because look at him over there watching cartoon so it really disturbed me that night i couldn't sleep this is a kind of a worst <laughs> it's a kind of a worst because sometimes i feel like running away but then i have to be here for my man 
it will end in praise and it will definitely end very soon so for somebody who would always be identifying or classifying sicknesses and blah 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 riches and blah 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 as in for better for worse that's not true this marital uh, proclamation or lines that we always make when two people are um, exchanging marital vows they have more deeper meaning than the ordinary yes it's beyond sickness and it's beyond riches there are more there are psychological meanings to it than what we think it should be or what we believe it is so i don't know what you think about what is your take what's your own definition of for better for worse in a marriage but i am honestly fine i am just doing this video to enlighten someone in case you are aspiring to be somebody wishing to be somebody next door because the husband has everything that you think that it takes you don't know what they are going through in those or behind closed doors something seriously might be bothering them of which you do not know so you better be thankful and pray to be better from your current position or your current level don't ever wish to be anybody yes i am telling you the fact so that's the major point i'm trying to pass through in this content with this very topic today thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate your time please if you have not subscribed to my channel do where to hit the red subscribe button my name is chi Nyeri and my channel's name is chi friend jonah thank you so much see you again on my next content bye